Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to try to weaponize this coke bottle. <laughs> Let me show you its features. This is the rather thick walled variant that will be refilled eventually, so it is sturdy. This means you could pressurize it by using one of Charlie Allen's big blast caps. You can simply put it on and then you can use a bike pump to pressurize it. We want to try to make it shooting crossbow bolts like this one here. So far we've been using slingshot based stuff for these purposes and they work rather good. Not a great deal of power. A while ago I visited Frederick at FX Air Guns in Sweden and they have this revolutionary system where you can shoot an arrow just by putting it over a piece of tube like this one. So I simply cut off the end of the crossbow bolt and now it fits perfectly well over the 7.5mm aluminum tube that you can get in just about any do-it-yourself store. It makes a nice little blowgun. <coughs> <laughs> the friction is high enough to make sure that the bolt is not falling down but it is super easy to slip it off. Seems like all we have to do is attach this to this and then we have a little bolt shooting air gun. I bought the required stuff on eBay. First of all we have this little ball valve. Um, it's one eighth uh, of an inch threaded on both sides and uh, you can open and close it easily. Then I got this little extra fitting here which you can easily put on one side of it and this needs to be filed down so it slips into the tube and on the other side I simply got a nut that you can put over it and mount it into the bottle. Okay, that part is finished. Since we are in Germany and need to abide German law, now it is necessary to prevent that somebody can fire like a muzzle-loaded BB from this, because otherwise it could. So now it is no longer possible to preload a BB. The bolt slides on unhindered. Now let's drill a hole into the bottom of the coke bottle. And we start with a very small drill bit. Now we run into the problem that we have no tool that fits through this here and allows us to tighten this nut. So we'll make our own little tool from a little bit of uh, flat aluminum or steel. In order to do that we have to cut some tracks into uh, the uh, nut so that we can use the flat piece as a tool. Now we take a cheap bike pump with a football needle inserted and we put it in and pump it up to 130 psi. <laughs> okay, I guess we are ready for our first test shot. <laughs> wow! Okay, that wasn't bad at all. But you could hear that there was a lot of extra air. So I think we can use a smaller bottle so we can pump it up more quickly. And also I think we can use this one to shoot longer arrows. So I made one more set for a full size uh, 31 inch aluminum arrow. So a little thicker tube as well. Okay, let's try the full size arrow. <laughs> I made one more version, this time from a half liter bottle, even though it's already a little bit out of shape. <laughs> and uh, I attached like an easier lever for releasing it and also I attached a laser sight. Wow, this is normally illegal in Germany but since this is classified as a toy I can attach a laser light to a toy. In order to test it we'll go to a part of my compound that you haven't seen until now because it was rented to the local hunter. It's right around the corner down there. Okay here we are. As you see there's a lots of space 
And then there is this door. So this is a uh, cold chamber that the hunter used obviously for his uh, prey. And uh, it is quite spooky in here. Of course it can only be locked from the outside. So it is easy to trap somebody down here. <laughs> All right, let's load it up with the compressor. Take careful aim and fire. <laughs> okay, let's shoot it over the crony. Thirty-four twenty-one. Not bad for such a heavy aluminum arrow. Okay, now with the laser-guided compressed air filled version. Needs a little fine tuning, but works okay. All right, crony shot with that one. 2834. Not terribly fast, but not bad either. Well, this is really fun. It's probably the lightest crossbow in history. <laughs> and it is a lot of fun to shoot. And I can't wait until Frederick from FX Air Guns sends me the high power Verminator version that goes like over 400 feet per second. Anyway, I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye.